junior. Hi, I'm Kinsey, I'm a freshman. I'm Riley and I'm a junior. I'm May and I'm a freshman. And we are from Ogallala High School. Time! And this is a poem titled Stereotypes. Cheerleader. Number 15. Home record. The Goth. I'm a cheerleader, top of the pyramid. You think I spelled pyramid wrong. You're shocked I said such a big word. Number 15, varsity starter in the middle and student council president. One time I got a B and my father called the teacher and got it changed. Don't even bother hiding your boyfriends. I probably slept with yours already. I wouldn't be scared if he leaves you by the end of the week. Better watch out. I'm the goth who your parents always told you never to be friends with. Because I wear dark clothing. Because I prefer to spend my time alone. Because, because I'm, I'm better, better than, than them. them. No, no way. That's, that's wrong. wrong. Walking down the hall hearing your name name being whispered, like, like an, an echo bouncing, bouncing around in the Grand Canyon. Canyon. Friends who become just acquaintances because of things strangers said. So scared that someday I, I won't be the smartest. The and the world will crush, crush me underneath, underneath its fist. And my ACT and ACT scores won't matter. My best friend didn't invite me to her own birthday party. She didn't so want the freak around for everyone to look at. And so I never got to go to that party. But I, I heard about it. it. She's not my best friend anymore. Make no mistake. Adults are worse than kids. Teachers, more specifically. Oh, Riley, you actually know that? Yeah, I'm actually the only one passing your class. Maybe, maybe if you look past the surface, maybe, maybe if you scrape under the first layer, you, you would see, see my wires aren't are totally connected. connected. I have a disability you never thought was a possibility. Like dodging a punch that is constantly flying. But, but when one is landed, the impact is detrimental. People scroll through us like, like we're, we're a BuzzFeed quiz. quiz. Choose your activities label your life, your demeanor, how people stare you down in the hallways, and, and don't, don't forget to share. But it doesn't matter who we are, what we wear, who our parents are. We are locked away to, to write poetry on, on Monday afternoons and Thursday mornings, and, and we've lost the key. Don't you forget about me, but we, we are, are not the breakfast, breakfast club. club. We, we do not give each other physical makeovers. We wipe it all away. The thick black, black eyeliner. The bright red lipstick. The, the concealer. concealer. We, we dig each other out of graves. Battling monsters, monsters with human faces as, as we survive, survive in this swamp of beauty. On Mondays and Thursdays, we are not the funhouse mirrors. People assume we are warped versions of ourselves, but, but we are genuine, and our reflections are so true. true. These words pour through us, pipelines connecting us, pumping words, words into our veins. veins. Poetry. Poetry knows you, every aspect of you, and won't judge you. Poetry is the game you always win. Poetry is a friend who never leaves you. Poetry is the light shining in the vast darkness. Poetry is a drum. Pounding alongside us to the beat of my frantic heart. It's every strum of the guitar, our heart strings. We are not a single voice, but a choir, blending into one. Poetry gives us a voice, and we deserve to be heard.